mattered most. 911, what's your emergency? And I shouted to everybody, clear out the way, there's a loose horse coming this way. And when I looked down, there was a little girl standing there. That little girl, five-year-old Roxy Key. Look again, there's Roxy on the left, and there's John, throwing his body over her, absorbing the full impact of the runaway horse. So I knew I was going to get hit. You cannot stop and think, should I, shouldn't I? There's a five-year-old girl, I'm 90 years old. She hasn't had a life, I've had a life. You gotta save that life. What would have happened to your daughter if John Shear hadn't been there? Dead, she's dead. Critically injured, John Shear would spend seven weeks in the hospital. More than two years after their lives first intersected, 92-year-old John Shear drove to a ballet studio where a now eight-year-old Roxy was to perform. Thank you for dancing for me, Roxanne. I love you. I don't want to say he lived 92 years just to do that one thing, but that's a very huge thing. Of all the things you've done, John, where does this rank in terms of your life? It ranks number one. Sacrificing himself for a child he had never 